In our obsession with antagonisms of the moment, we often forget how much unites all the members of humanity. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat to make us recognize this common bound. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. And yet, I ask you, is not an alien force already among us? What could be more alien to the universal aspirations of our peoples than war and the threat of war? That's simple, right? Are we facing UFOs? Are we finally going to get to the truth? If alien life is... Listen. Listen. Everybody's here in the chat right now. You know, I know, life does exist outside our solar, our solar universe, right? The, the universe is a big fucking sky. So we know there is life out there somewhere somewhere i don't know what, what it looks like don't know but we know there is life out there that's not debatable we we're not going to sit here and debate and saying we're the only planet with this huge galaxy huge galaxy that we can't even explore out of our own listen we only been to the moon well, that's what they say. That's a that's another conspiracy story. We haven't even been to Mars, right? So we haven't even been out of our own solar system. But it's a big freaking sky. We don't know what's out there. So we know there's life out there. But the questions of all questions. Have we been visited? Have they explored our planet? And have they some aliens died here? It's all over the news. You know, so so you know what? We're gonna start with NASA for two years ago asking the question, do aliens exist? I like watching some old and new because I like to see has there been any changes with NASA? Have they been saying the same stuff over the same years? Well, one way to find out is let's just find out. This is just a short little NASA video. A NASA woman is coming out asking a simple question. Do Aliens exist because to even go to the part where these aliens that you see behind me, which you know, the Mexico one, which th that is an awesome toy, right? I, I want to buy that. I, I, I want to buy that toy when that's available in my store. I want to get that toy, but do they exist? You know, we gotta, we, we gotta establish that aliens are real in the first place. So let's see what NASA says two years ago. Do aliens exist? That's a really interesting question and one that we have been trying to understand and explore. It's not an interesting question. It's really basically, it's a yes and no question, right? I mean, really, seriously, it's, it's a yes and no question. It's not interesting. You know, simple question. Yes or no? Do aliens exist? Or and, and figure out for a really long time, we have not yet discovered life on any other planet. We haven't seen any scientifically supported evidence for extraterrestrial life. But remember, guys, we haven't even gone outside our solar system. Right? We haven't even gone outside our solar systems. I mean, we only been to the moon. Yeah, as we sent rovers to to Mars and stuff. But that's about it. You know, we, we don't know what's out there. If we think about life on this planet beyond the big things, the elephants, the whales, redwoods, and focus on the tiny things, nearly everywhere on Earth that we've looked, we found microbial life. And our definition of habitable continues to expand. Off the Earth, we've only begun to look. NASA has sent five rovers and four landers to the surface of Mars. In addition to that, our orbiters have been outfitted with some amazing cameras to take pictures of the whole surface of the planet. And we've only explored a tiny fraction of Mars. 
And that's only one of the promising bodies to look for life in our solar system. There are icy moons in the outer solar system like Enceladus and Europa that look like they may have subsurface oceans that could be habitable. And then that's just what's in our solar system. The more exoplanets we find around other stars, the more we learn about how many different environments could exist for life. So we can't yet say for sure whether or not aliens exist. But to quote Carl Sagan, the universe is a pretty big place. If it's just us, it seems like an awful waste of space. That is that is one of the best. I, I love that. I love that. Right? If, if we're if we're technically the only life, what a waste of space. I mean, that's perfectly said. It's a waste of space, right? If we're, if we're the only planet with the galaxy that goes on forever and ever and ever, and we're the only life, damn, that's a waste of space, right? Right? It's a waste of space. I want to say hello to Amber's Paraworld. Um, guys, Amber's Paraworld, the dead enemy. You can get her book on Amazon right now. Her book. Her book is is awesome. It's a it's a fun read. It's a good read. It you know the best you know the best way to support people channels is when you buy a book, you support her, you support her channel. But the thing is, you get something out of it. You you get a book. Listen, if I was a writer, I would have a book. Yeah, you guys, you're like I don't want to. Actually, maybe some of you would want to read a book if I had one. Mind Fork. Had a kick ass show. Um, god damn it, was it yesterday the day before? <laughs> oh god, uh, my head, I, I sometimes I forget, but Mind Forked had a kick ass show the other day. So go to her channel, uh, uh, uh check out her last video, it was really kick ass. Donald Fuller, kick ass person, Jeanette, kick ass. I mean, Danny Staten, my brother, who ha actually sent me a video, uh, to, to show today. And so Danny, my brother, um, a lot of great people. Now let's go into this next video. Um, paging agent Mulder uh, to use AI to study UFO. Now we all heard the word AI, right? AI is taking it all, taking over the world and stuff. And and listen, probably is right. AI is taking over everything. Shit. I, Guys, you probably not you're probably not even watching me right now. This is probably an AI. I probably just generated my 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 body, my soul, my voice, and the and the AI is talking to you. Who knows? But why not use AI to help look for UFOs, alien life? I mean, you could program an AI to do whatever you want. You know, I program the AI to look at every single video footage. Is ever put out there to look for anything that's unusual. So using AI for uh, searching for UFOs, I'm all for that. I'm down with that. And right on the heels of that very bizarre scene in Mexico where lawmakers were shown what were claimed to be ancient alien mummies, here in the United States, NASA has officially entered the UFO chat. Today, NASA was like, uh, we don't know about all that stuff, but if you have something that strange, make it available to the scientific community. As for what is for sure happening here in the United States, NASA says that they're going to take UFOs or UAPs, as they call them, seriously, and they are recommending AI be used to comb through things like massive amounts of satellite data and look for weird things flying around because you know you can't spell alien without a and an i am i right but you know what Th that part of using ai for to me that's why not i mean it, it's it's a way to uh, uh uh we know the best footage is sometimes are by the by the uh, public right the public us the public and to be able to to somehow program the AI to look for anomalies, you know, in 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 the sky that that shouldn't be there to recognize to go because I'm listen, I can't tell you how much footage is in a database of of the sky. I mean, I don't know. It's probably in the billions, right? Of footages, 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 and it'd be almost impossible for one person to look at. Every single footage of what, how, wherever it comes from, 
you know, to spot something that's we can't see. We, we you know, we, you know, we don't recognize. So using an AI to cut cut to the chase, to cut to millions and millions of footages to say, hey, look at this one, look at this one, look at this one. Now I'm sure after it does that, after it goes through billions of footages, you know, we're going to be left with probably thousands of thousands or even millions more, but at least they'll cut it down, right? We gave birth to a baby smarter than any of us and, and all of us. And, and, and that's scary. But if we're going to use it, right, why not use it to go through the skies? I mean, why not? Why not? Okay, maybe I'm wrong, but you know who is never wrong about this stuff? NBC News correspondent Aaron Gilchrist. Aaron, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, okay, so first off here, how does NASA think we should be using AI to look for unexplained phenomena? Well, Gotti, the NASA administrator today said that it's time to move these conversations around. We're on Bigfoot Radio. Hold on, I got it. You are absolutely right. If aliens are dead, they can't really hide. They just rot. I know, right? That's exactly why I put the title. I wanted somebody to be like, huh? Huh? Hey, listen, E.T. died and came back. So that's exactly why. <laughs> I love it. If you caught on to that title. Oh, man, you're, you're awesome, World Bigfoot Radio. UFOs from sensational to scientific. And that's part of the reason that for the first time in that agency's history, uh, it commissioned this study, which was its first real concrete action into looking at uh, UFOs. And so part of what the panel recommended was that NASA use artificial intelligence and machine learning, which it is proficient at, which it has the ability to analyze and understand, to uh, sort of interrogate all the massive amounts of data that can be gathered as it relates to what's up there in the sky that may not be explainable, saying that, that, uh, that using AI could help to look at satellite data, could look at radar data, could be added to the photos and the stories and the videos videos that we know are out there of, uh, of these things that are in the sky and using all the tools at NASA's disposal would help it to better identify those things uh, and start to answer some of the questions around, you know, are these just drones and planes and big plastic bags or are they things that might be extraterrestrial? Got it? Now, now for the record, that's all great. You know, using... You know, you're you're basically just using a, a modern day technology that gets better and better and better. But say they can find things more, will they still share that with us? Right? Will they still share if something that I don't know, maybe the AI comes out and says, "This is not a uh, this is not an airplane. This is not a helicopter. This is not man made. This is something that not even the AI knows what it is because." The, the AI only knows what you program into it, which we don't know exactly how the ships are from outer space. I mean, there's stories, you know, so it can only recognize what we tell it inside, you know, inside the AI system. Now, it's looking for things that's not, it's out of the ordinary what's been inputted into the system. You know what I mean? So, so if, if they find something, it doesn't mean that they're still going to tell us or show us. I mean, it's great to use the tools. But again, it doesn't mean because it makes their job easier, they're still going to tell us what they found. We don't know that. A UFO shot down a jet fighter back in the 60s. So you're right. So maybe that data of what that ship looks like is in the AI system to start recognizing that. So like, again, like, again, you know, the, the AI still has to be, uh, 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 it's smarter than us, but I mean, it still has to be input with information. So maybe a lot of these, uh, sightings like, like Ron, like, like Danny was saying, maybe a lot of these, a lot of these sightings that people uh, are saying what shapes look like will be put in the AI. And maybe that will help. I mean, you know, you know what I mean? I mean, it's, it's, this, you know, you know, it's, you know, I get it. We need NASA. 
for the space stuff, but NASA, you know, people think, well, maybe we'll get more information, more answers through NASA versus the government. First of all, whatever NASA says on TV to the public, they got to get permission from the government in the first place. So they can't just come out freely to say anything they want either because they got to get permission because they're funded by the government. So they're not going to turn their backs on the government and come out and, and uh, you know, I don't know, maybe uh, NASA discovers, maybe, maybe NASA discovers a dead alien. They're not going to announce it. The government's not going to allow it to them. And they're not going to take a chance and, and all that. NASA is the government. That's my point. NASA is a government. So even though, listen, AI, is if it's a great tool for them to find things, it still doesn't mean they're going to share that with us. But it is, it is interesting that, you know, they're going to be using technology to go through all the footages and, I would think they'd be doing it for years. They would never tell us the truth. Yeah, that, that, that's that's what I mean. They, and, and it's not really telling us the truth or not. They're just not telling us of what they're finding. So so really, technically, are they really lying if they never even mention it in the first place? I mean, if they discover something on a video footage, they just don't, they won't just won't talk about it. They don't talk about it. They're not lying. I guess. Aaron, I mean, this story seems to go in so many different directions. I mean, you've got this stuff that's flying around that sensors are picking up. It has been a very weird year, though, because here in the United States, we had one former military analyst, high ranking military analyst, telling our Congress he was being told that the U.S. was in possession of alien craft and what he called non human biologics. Uh, what did NASA say about the possibility of aliens? Were they asked about any of this? They were asked about that, and, and they've said repeatedly, and they've said on other occasions, that there's no evidence that uh, these uh, UAPs, as they call them, are extraterrestrial in origin, right? Well, well, there's no evidence that's given to the NASA to even look at, to even make a, a, a determination, you know, determination on, on what it is, right? I mean, well, was it? The last dead alien show that we did, that that um uh, uh I, I'm trying to remember. I wish I wish I would have uh, uh maybe took a clip out when they said that that there's sections that they're not even allowed to look at. And I, and I remember like like uh the one of NASA guys says we can't even look at this. We can't even look at that. So how can even if you give NASA and this is all about funding, right? This is all about funding. Let's let, let's be honest. It's all about funding. You know, you hear the word AI. Oh my God, we're close to look for something. They're going to be using AI. It's all about getting that funding. I mean, it's all about money. At the end of the day, it's all about money. Let, 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 let's be honest. You know, but a NASA person even said they're not given all the files they're not they're not allowed to lo even look at what's considered classified information so you know what i mean so so if 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 you're not even allowed to even look at all the files you can i don't even think you should be able to even do a panel and even ask any questions when you're not even allowed to look at everything you know what I mean? I mean it's it's uh, it's it's a, it's a crazy world out there, guy. It's a crazy world. Now, let's look at a little deeper into Mexico. Good old Mexico. You remember last week when scientists in Mexico revealed what they said were the corpses of aliens? Yeah, the video of those little bodies sparked a lot of skepticism as to whether the figures were fake. This morning, the Mexican scientists are releasing new video showing x-rays of the alleged alien remains. And they say they conducted three studies that all prove the bodies were not assembled and belonged to a single skeleton. Doctors also say there are no signs of skull manipulation. The alleged alien corpse... Let me ask something. And I, I know my good buddy, uh, I see Ron. 
Cosmic, Cosmic Neighbors in the chat. Ron. Ron. My buddy Ron. Listen, I, I, I'm not here to say these guys are paid off. These guys are real. This is a real scan or not. What I'm going to ask you, Ron, if they possibly think that's 100% real, and listen, I don't know. I'm not there. I mean, I'm not exact examining it. I mean, I don't know. Will they just hold something like that in the air just like that? I mean, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I've seen videos of of Americans um, looking at something, right? And and they, they 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 keep extra care. They don't want it moved. They don't want to shake because they don't want nothing broken. They they want everything to stay in. Intact, you're intact, right? Will they just pick it up like that? You know what I mean? Will they? Will they? Will they just pick it up like that? If if you know this is the real deal, I would think it'd be like hands off. Like 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 I know they would have to like scoop it up and put it on a uh, on a MRI, whatever. But I just can't see. A professional scientist or a doctor handling something that would change everything on this planet, right? Would just change this like this is the evidence. Because wouldn't you be afraid if you hold it up, you're gonna break it? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't, you know what I mean. I mean, I'm not here to say here or not, but uh, here's my friend Mind Fork. I watched the live and trying to find the, the certified results. That is Carla, not Mara or Victoria with tests from other labs and DNA results. Just saying. And that's the point. And, 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 and again, I'm not trying to uh, take anybody's beliefs away if they think it's real or not. Because in theory, if that was real, in theory, I would fire every single doctor or scientist here for picking up something just like a doll. That if, if it's that old, right? It's got to be fragile, right? I don't know. I mean, maybe that they, they maybe maybe that's a hard as a brick. I mean, I don't know, but it's just weird to see them just holding it like like a toy. It just I don't think real doctors and scientists would do that for something that can, you know, change everything. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. Corpses were found in Peru around 2017. So there, Leslie Lopez, they got proof. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're going to have to open it up. They've got I'm sorry. I love, you know what? I love that woman's reaction. Nah. Nah, you're going to have to open it up. <laughs> I love that. I just love her reaction. Got x-rays. What, what could it, you know? <laughs> no. Mm, no. You're not a believer. <laughs> right. No, that looks like that does not look real. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get <laughs> You know? <laughs> I mean, I just, I, I, I. You know, we all want to believe so bad, right? You, you want to believe so bad. But since you're not there, you're judging it by the video you're watching or the story you're being told, right? And you're, you're watching how they handle the questions, how, how you know, how they handle their studies. And, and, and to see a bunch of people just like holding it up and, and, and something that, that is supposed to be so precious that, that's going to change the world. They're not, I don't know, it, 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 it blows anything away. And my fork is perfect when she said that she has still not yet seen the DNA. Everybody says they have results. Everybody says they're a whistleblower. Everybody says they have this, they have that, but you don't get to see none of it. You know what I mean? Um, hey guys, I apologize if I'm not seeing everything in the chat because you know I'm trying to run this. 
Uh, I, I'm not typing that again. So, Danny, if I miss something you're telling me, I apologize. It's hard to, um, you know, it's hard to do both. So, so if I miss something, Danny, I apologize. You know, so it's cool. Uh, six years now, no DNA results because the DNA results came back as plaster. Okay. Okay. Well, let's check out this next one I have here. Uh, here what, oh, 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 now, 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 here's, you're asking the, I forgot, I forgot his freaking name, Neil. Now, I am not a believer in these broadcasters or not. I'm not, right? And I know this guy is not well liked in the UFO community. But there was a couple things he says here that I liked. All right. And and uh, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right. So don't think, oh my God, Eric's playing this guy. I play everything because I, I want to hear if they mess up or they sing some. Because even even the most I'm not saying fakest people or not, but sometimes they can say something smart. So don't blast me because the guy who's going to be interviewed is, you know what I mean. You guys know what I mean. Um, that a lot of people are talking about lately, and NASA even now has a head of, U of UFOs, right? Congress has a hearing uh, on, on UFOs. And so people are talking about UFOs and aliens in, in a more serious way than, than, you know, being on the front of the National Enquirer, the way it used to be. Um, so a Mexican journalist displayed bodies of two supposed non-human beings uh, in, the, in Mexico, we know that. We in front that. of the Congress in Mexico, okay? Um, each with three-fingered hands and elongated heads. Now, uh, before we all mock uh, the video, right? Because it's, it's gotten a lot of mocking. It looks a lot like ET. But as I said, no, NASA just anything. announced for the first time a director of research on UFOs. So they are taking uh, this overall topic more seriously. What's your take on this? Well, <clears throat> first of all, I like what they did in Mexico. They, they had what they claimed are alien bodies. They brought it out in front of their Congress. That's better than leaving them in a locked box and saying you and no one else can get to see them. So okay, that part's fair. I, I, I see his point. You know, you know, if, if somebody making a claim to something, just show it. All right. All right. <laughs> you know, maybe some of those panels didn't know that it's fake. I can see his point with just show it. Let people see it. Let people make their own choices and judgment. That's what people want to make their own choice of judgment, right? So, I can see his point on that part. On that part. That's a start. But in science, a, 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 a new truth, an objective truth is only established when multiple labs can analyze whatever your claim is. Bingo. Bingo. Whatever you guys feel about this guy. He, that, what he said there is the key. Multiple scientists, multiple places, multiple. You got you got to get that the, the whole science field to investigate it and do their own. I don't know DNA tests, their own X rays. You gotta have multiple. You can't have a control environment because when you have a control environment, you can do whatever you want in that environment. You can, you can, do, you know, you can change whatever you want. You can, I'm not saying nobody's being bought or paid. I'm not saying that. But in a control environment, you do whatever you want. Real science is when multiple people have the opportunity to investigate and listen. You know, the, you know, the science there says it is the real deal. And then let all science from around the world, I don't know, have a piece, however you want to do it. Everybody in the science should have an opportunity to analyze it, right? Now, if you get the whole world, the whole world, right, all an opportunity 
to analyze it, and they all came together and say, guys, this is one piece. This was not messed with. This really is a dead alien. That's science, my friend. That is proving something. Now, I don't know if they're going to do that. I don't read every newspaper or article, every news channel. If there's so many out there, I don't know. I rely on people like you in the chat. I rely on World Bigfoot Radio, Cosmic Neighbors, Donald Filler, Mind Fork, I Amber Periworld. You know, I, I, you know, if, if I miss something, I need you guys to say, hey, Eric, you missed this. Hey, look at this article. I need you guys. Because listen, first of all, I've always said this. This channel is not about me being a teacher because I am not a teacher. I am no expert. I am nothing. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a guy in a fucking closet that, that, that took a closet and put a, a window in there talking through a YouTube window. I am a student of the game. I'm a student. That's what I am. I'm a student. And most of you I know in the chat, you guys are all students. We're all we're we're all students. We, we we no nobody should be claims to be a teacher. We're all trying to gather information together. I do this show because I want to learn, right? By me doing a show like this helps me to learn because I I'll get to go back later on and watch the chat and see what you guys say and tell me that I miss or not. We're all students. We're all students. Now, we're all we're all Bigfoot Radio. He's probably more of the more of a teacher than the student. You know, he's you know, but, but I'm a student. I admit that. I don't pretend to say I know everything because I don't. I want to learn. And by doing these kind of shows, I force myself to learn. I force myself to hear criticism from somebody in the chat. It's not really criticism. Eric, you haven't heard this. That's not criticism. That's correcting something. I love that. Let's see. Let's see if this guy is saying anything more right on the money. <laughs> slow motion he used to be a teacher. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Slow motion. Hey, may, may, may we ask, what was your main field of teaching? Did you or did you teach everything? Or was it math? Was it literature? <laughs> he may be a guy in the closet with, with the show, but he's a guy with Kel Black cowboy hat in a closet. And need to support him. <laughs> hey, and and hold on, not just a guy in the closet. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I'm a guy in the closet with a dog. <laughs> I love. <it. laughs> so let's let's. When we brought this. rocks back from the moon, we distributed them to all the labs of the world. So do you guys hear that? When they brought rocks back from the moon. They allow scientists from around the world to look at it, right? What you're supposed to do. Everybody participated in that discovery. So here, bring out samples to others and let other people, skeptical people in other labs, test and this. So either verify it or falsify it, and then we move on. What was your reaction when you saw the images? I was surprised because there's if they're from another planet, why do they look so human? They have two eyes, a nose, a mouth, shoulders, hips, femur, a, a rib. Why? Most life on Earth shares DNA in common with us. It looks nothing like us. So how could it somebody? So so that was my first thought. You know what? That's a good question. You know, that, that's pretty interesting. Really, what he's saying is... Um, you know, they probably would never even look close to us. And so we, and that's hard because we just, we, 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 you know, we don't know, right? We don't know. It, it is so, it's, it is so interesting. Hey, guys, you know, a good show, a, a good science fiction show that's on right now is actually on um, Apple called Evasion. Once you get through the first three episodes of the first season, because they're, they're, they're kind of slow, it really kicks in. 
And I'm really enjoying the second season of an evasion because they're talking about how the different language and she's trying to communicate with an alien that's more of a like 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 what you see in the abyss, you know, because it doesn't mean they're gonna sound like us and their language is is is, is could be totally different, could be using this, could be different. Second, um any corpses or mummified remains, there is no bone in your nose. It's an open hole into your skull. These aliens have intact noses, okay? If indeed that is their nose, okay? I don't think for sure. So, <laughs> well, so I, that's odd after 2,000 years to still have a, a nose with two, with two cavities in it. So that's odd, but they should share it. That's how right. we, that's how. And I'm going to say, however you feel about that guy, I agree with him 100%. Share, share. <laughs> Strange nose bone. I'm not saying ET. I'm saying let's not ignore a potential new species or an art ar artifact that tells the story. Exactly, exactly. I mean, it's it, you're exactly correct. It's you know, and um, and the truth of the matter is, we, we don't know because man, you could fall you could fall into a, a rabbit hole so badly because, like 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 look at. Look, Look at this picture. That one there is from this story. Hold on. It's from this story, right? Alien found dead on Earth and is mysteriously disappeared later from a South uh, uh, American village, right? You know, and, and of course, and, and, and so I'm not saying none of these are real. Most of these are fake and we all know that but then one person goes the one person did tell me but eric you got to leave yourself an out because what if i'm just playing i'm just playing here what if even though we all that's 99.9 percent .9 fake but what if it wasn't and a mid and black I, I'm I'm just using men in black as a metaphor. Not, I'm sure the men in black ain't wearing black and sunglasses like um, Will Smith nowadays. You know they're 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 gonna look different. What if they're forced to say it's actually fake? You know what I mean? So what? I mean you can fall in a rabbit hole. You can can um. Now there is a video, but it's in pure Spanish. So. Uh, Damn it, where did I accidentally did I hold on a second. I, I might have um I'm trying to uh somebody sent me this video. Uh is it here? I don't know where it is. I'm I I I, I apologize. Somebody sent me a video of of this. Now, looking at this picture here, what do you guys know of this? What do you guys know of this, in your own opinion? Was this 100% fake? What's what's the true story? I had the freaking video. Hmm. Actually, hold on. Let me see if I can find it. Because cause I the person... Oh, maybe... Hold on. Hold on a second. I think I got it here. If the person put it in uh, subtitles, English subtitles for me. So let me see. Give me one. I, I apologize for this. Okay. So here. Let me go here. Let, or whatever that is. So so here. Um, let me get rid of this. Now, again, I have a video, but it's in Spanish. But and the original video on YouTube doesn't have subtitles. And uh, a a a, friend, a guy said, "Hey, Eric, I could put that in subtitles for you," and he did. So hold on. So hold on. So now we got you got to read the subtitles. It's in Spanish. Let's hear a little bit of this. 
driving to town, the Chachi, and, and this is where we are going to tell you. Y esa llegado a la población de Chachi. Y es acá donde le vamos a contar. A story related to some old strange being that had come to this place. Okay. Extra show that is what the Reno residents discovered a while ago. This is what they discovered a long time ago. The people of Guarina were dirigent to Chacachi. They head to Chacachi. They claim it is the corpse of a strange being from another planet. Isn't it weird lately? All the dead aliens are really super short. Super short. I mean, you know, you know. I mean, I don't know. We actually, I mean, we technically wouldn't really know if an alien uh, life form came from another planet. Exactly tall, short. I mean, we don't know what the size. I mean, shoot, they could be this big, right? Let me see here. Well, the head, the water is not. We go up what the Kevri says, and one of the streets where the Calvario is one of the calles, where. Supposedly, a strange being, approximately five centimeters long, would have been found a few years ago. Centimeters have been seen encontrado hace unos días nada más. They are somewhat skeptical. Some do not believe that in this place is a strange black. It has been. Discover. Others say the lights can be seen at night on the Central Hill. In the sky, it is induced under flying objects known as UFOs. Uh, that's wicked. That's wicked. Or some myths, let's say some believe and some don't, according to my point of view. I would believe that there is, and I would say that there is not, because it has not been scientifically proven that it exists. All right. I mean, that's the same kind of stuff that we always hear. Know what we know could reality or could be a lie. You have seen this. Okay. It is around here that it says an extraterrestrial being. No, 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 not at all. It's not the case that they have arrived. Okay. Okay. Here, I, you know, listen, I, I can't tell you. I can't tell you. You know, that, you know, so why didn't he pick it up? <laughs> because it's fake. And, I, and listen, I'm not, I'm not saying. I'm just, I'm just looking all dead aliens and, 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 you know, I show it to you guys, and then the smart people that you are in this community. Uh, Eric, I gotta go. I uh, have to finish the lessons. Hopefully, see you next Tuesday with your aliens questions. I will have them. You know what I mean? And maybe somebody will know something more about this than listen. The, the news, the news channels in the in the in the town is looking to click for clicks and ratings. I know that, but you still gotta show it. Right, here's a um, wow, Amber, drop a channel links, not video links, please. Ch Bye, everybody. Later, Amber. Um, okay, all right. Here's a short video from a friend of the channel. She says she's a friend of the channel, Christina Gomez. She says she's a friend of the channel. She won't come on my channel. I don't know hey, if she's not comfortable coming on a channel like mine. I treat everybody with respect. Right? She needs to come on my channel. But what did she say about all these hearings? According to an article written by the public, 30 UAP whistleblowers associated with either the federal government or its contractors have come forward to share their accounts or give protected disclosures to various official entities, including the Office of the Intelligence Community Inspector General and the Defense Department Inspector General regarding UFOs. Now, the emergence of these whistleblowers is not confirming extraterrestrial life. Some of these individuals might be revealing unlawful or unethical 
ethical practices within UAP programs rather than substantiating the presence of these phenomena. However, aside from those reporting misconduct, a significant number of individuals have approached the DOD's UFO office, Aero, to relay their experiences on UFOs. We need to remember that those that provide false testimony to the ICIG can lead to severe consequences, including fines. Okay. But let me ask you guys something here. Let me ask you guys something here. Let me ask you guys something here. The word whistleblower, right? The, the word whistleblower. Is that given out too easy nowadays? You know what I mean? I mean, it, it, is that just given out? Is, 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 is the whistleblower just a name now to make money or something? And I'm serious about that. I mean, whistleblower, whistleblower, 30 whistleblowers, you know, let me tell you guys something. And I, listen, I, again, I, I'm I, I don't pretend to be an expert in every single person if they're a real whistleblower or not. Because I, I honestly I I don't know. You know, there's been times that David Grush, for example, I I've been I've been harsh. I've been harsh on David Grush. I've been harsh, you know, but, and I think I'm harsh because, listen, I was in the military. I know a lot of you in the chat have been in the military. We all know somebody who has said stuff, right? Everybody in the military has heard stuff like, like, why are we really here? You know? My uh, my brother was on the Blue Ridge ship, right? He's on the Blue Ridge. His ship goes went around the world to different parts. I'm sure he used to hear people on the on why we were really going to a certain place. So everybody's have heard something. If you're in the military, everybody has heard something. The, the 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 level of that is is you know. Individual bases, but but everybody in the military says this is not why we're really here. What do they have in that private room that we're not allowed to go see? My brother himself at Smithsonian was not allowed to go, even though he was a work. He's a worker there. He's an archaeologist for them. Even he wasn't allowed to go into every single room. You know what I mean? Everybody knows. Somebody that knows something, right? Everybody knows something. Everybody knows somebody who knows something. So technically, we're all whistleblowers. I guess every single one of you. Because everybody knows somebody that knows something. And I think my anger wasn't really with David Grush, I think my anger is it's like everybody is being a whistleblower for knowing somebody who's been told who knows something. And I think it gets to a point where it gets tiring where why can't the source just come from the one person? I think that's the part that listen, I'm, I'm sure David Grush heard things. Everybody in the military has heard something that, you know, listen, conspiracies are built everywhere. You know? <laughs> I went into those rooms anyway. I had clearance. But the point is, the point is, the point I was trying to get is, everybody knows somebody. So, I can't sit here to say that David Grush is a technically a hundred percent liar. He might have heard some of this stuff, right? He might, have, you know, but it doesn't mean that person is real. You know what I mean? It doesn't mean that person is real. We're all told stuff. Uh, Eric, 
I'm a whistleblower on you on YouTube. Bigfoot, I can tell you all the ones full of it. <laughs> you know, it's just it's just like it's it's like it's like whistleblower is is it's really become like a porn word, right? It's a porn word. It's like it's like like if if oh here's a good example. Last Friday on my channel here, Dr. Wu and um Jessica Jones and Bob mentioned about seeing giant bones. Right? Not a lot of people heard of that that he that he saw inside the Smithsonian, right? I guarantee and guys, I'm telling you percentage wise, if, if Bob came out with the show. Or, or if I came out with the show and said, man found giant bones with a hole in the skull. It might get some views, right? But if I wrote a whistleblower like comes out to tell everybody there's a hole in a skull. Use the word whistleblower. Whoa, 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 whoa. You know what I mean? Unfortunately, it seems like people will only start listening to you if somehow the word whistleblower is in there. All right? Let's be, let's be honest. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. If Dr. Wu put a video out saying, I saw dead, uh, dead bone or a hole in the bone, whatever, right? If I saw, if, if Dr. Wu. How the video says I saw holes in a giant skeleton. Might get a couple clicks, right? But let's say Danny Stanton comes out, whistleblower comes out and telling the world about a hole in a giant skull. That would get more clicks and views versus from the source himself. From himself, if he came out and just said that, probably no pixel views. But if Danny comes out, puts the word whistleblower, he will get all the clicks and views over the person who's really seen it. So the word whistleblower seems like nowadays it's just it's just being used like like for everything. It's just being used. It's just it's just. You know, and I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. I'm getting. Oh, uh, what is this other video that I have here? American has alien bodies. Hold on. What is this? In the American. Oh, hold on a second. That's the video that Danny sent me. Have just been confirmed by a former U.S. government official. Do you believe our government has made contact with intelligent extraterrestrials? Something I can't discuss in public setting. Even saying that the United States is in. And again. He's second hand, third hand. He's not allowed to say anything. Possession of UFOs and non-human bodies. If you believe we have crashed craft, uh, stated earlier, do we have the bodies of the pilots who piloted this craft? Biologics came with some of these recoveries. Yeah. Were they, I guess, human or non-human biologics? No, he can't technically say yes right there because he, he, he technically he lied right there because he said yes. He heard it from for somebody else. He he would he needed to say, "That's what I heard from a good source." Technically, he lied just right there by saying yes. He doesn't know. He doesn't know. Came with some of these recoveries. Yeah. Were they, I guess, human or non-human biologics? Non-human, and that was the assessment of people uh, with direct knowledge on the program I talked to that are currently still on the program. Not in direct knowledge, but I don't know. Like I said, should I be angry at him or be angry at the people who supposedly told him this are not coming out? And 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 it's supposedly right. There's these brand new protections. For these people, that's what I've heard. Ron, am I wrong? Is, was it? Isn't there something out there now? I don't know what it's called that's supposed to protect whistleblowers in the first place. Saying I can't discuss in public setting makes it sound like he's hiding the truth 
of ET's life. He could easily tell them in a skip. Yeah, but but Ron, is it there? I mean, I don't know how far that law is supposed to protect whistleblower. If there is that law that's supposed to protect whistleblowers anyway, then what's the problem? And not just for him, for the people who's taking these things firsthand. Here we go. Whistleblower protection protects federal employees or applicants for federal employment from retaliation for making protected disclosure. Okay. Now, you know what? That, that's a good question. But now, now, but now, Ron, let me ask this. Okay. Protects a federal employment. Now, if a person is retired like Grush, he is not a federal government person now, unless he still has a job. I mean, I don't know what he does for a living. I don't know if he does a job for the federal government. But if you're not, you know, you're not in the military no more, you're not working in a federal building, you're working in the private sector, can that still protect you then? That was the copy of Pace from the FCC. Still has his clearance. Okay. And he still, and you're right, he still has his clearance. So it is the grain of salt. Now, this last video that I'm going to show is a video that um, Danny sent over to me because I asked Danny if he got some videos of. <laughs> Hold on a second. It didn't protect me or Eric. We are both blackballed. <laughs> That's true. I'm still blackballed. <laughs> That's true. Now, he sent me the video. I actually, I ran it through copyrights on it. I didn't actually watch the video because I want to see it fresh. And I think it has to do with Roswell. There was some copyrights in it, but I deleted, deleted it out. So I should be, should see, let me see here. What's it say? See that? That's see, that's my problem. I wasn't military. That doesn't cover us private contractors. I checked my NDA. If if I violate it, I get sued. That's that's a good point. That, that, Danny, that's what I'm saying. I, that, that's all I was like asking. If you're out of the military, if you're out, can you still be protected? That was that was my thing. Let's see what this video. Then my good friend Danny Stanton sent me. Summer of 1947. The Second World War had been over for almost two years, but it was an uneasy peace. Following the defeat of fascism, the alliance of convenience between Western democracies and communist Russia had collapsed. Soviet Russia was expensively stabbing westward, knifing into nations left empty by war. The United States had used atomic bombs to defeat Japan, but worried how long it would be alone in having the weapon. In this new cold Cold War, the US cast itself as the defender of freedom, even if that meant a third world war. If we falter in our leadership, to appear. Reports that strange flying discs have been whizzing at 1200 miles an hour over the western United States. And three days later, eight flying saucers described as more like wash tubs and each about the size of a five bedroom house were reported today. Further south in New Mexico, a 48 year old rancher named Mac Brazel had made a rather unusual. I'm not, I'm not going to show the video. I want to ask you guys, since we're talking about dead aliens. Here, let me put in a poll. Hold on a second. Give me a second. I want to know this from you guys. Actually, I don't need to do a poll. Do you believe that the gov government recovered dead aliens from Roswell? If a yes, put one. If not, if you don't think there was any dead bodies at Roswell, put two. Since we're talking about dead aliens today, put one if you think dead bodies were covered. Put two if you don't think. Dead bodies, dead aliens were covered from Roswell. I'm curious. So Danny says one. Freaky Geek says one. Gobber B says one. Too much information says one. No, it cannot be a single cell organism. Okay. Donald, Donald, that's, that's fair. That's fair. 
Rom, please go to the Scientists Against Myths channel and watch the two videos on the aliens cut ways. We can have some great laughs. No, put one. Slow motion, put one. Donald Fuller, put two. And uh, Gabber Best, put one on top. But then over here, uh, two for the alien, uh, for a live alien that survived. Okay. All right. Let me ask you guys this. Let me ask you this. I'm going to play a little conspiracy here. I'm just going to play a little conspiracy. I'm just, you know, I'm not trying to change the storylines. I'm not trying to create conspiracy, but let's just let's just look here. The story we all know the story of the Mary Islands and it happened 2 months before Roswell. 2 months. They saw five or six flying saucers over the Des Moines Ferry. You guys saw my short videos, right? Plane dropped stuff. Apparently, it crashed too, and a T bomber blew up because they there's story that they had a piece of an item. I'm just saying, what if the T bomber? actually had the dead alien and somehow I'm not you call this conspiracy or not they, the plane crash did not have that, that T bomb did not have a malfunction that's just there was no malfunction now most people believe that the government has something to do with with that that plane crash what if that plane crash it was an alien body that's on there and what if whatever that alien body came from they couldn't retrieve it to be seen again so what's ever out there is the one that destroyed the t-bomber so people could not get their hands on the dead alien you know, I'm just saying, you know, Dr. Wu has made some good points where Dr. Wu has said on this channel, and he's not shy to say his belief, that he believes that if there was an actual real crash, that the aliens themselves would pick up the pieces and pick up the bodies. And I'm not here to say that's real or not. We don't know. His belief. So what if, just what if, the actual dead alien was on that T-bomber, and it was them who brought it down. If you don't know the Mary Island incident, I'm telling you guys. I'm telling you from me that I believe. I, I'm, I'm not I'm not saying just to say this because I live in the area. I believe the Mary Island should, should have been the bigger story than Roswell any day. Any day. Multiple people seen the crash. Men in Black showed up. Multiple. I know people seen the things in Roswell. I get that. Meetings that were recorded in Tacoma of government agencies. And we had a T-bomber crashed. Crashed. What was on that plane? What was on that plane? I personally believe, I personally believe that had the dead alien. Of course, can't prove none of it. None of us can, right? We just talk about it. Well, guys, uh, I started the show a little early because I got some appointments that I have to run to. I want to, I appreciate every single one of you. For being here today. And again. Again. Tell your friends. About this channel. Tell everybody. That this channel is not about. About. Going to a channel. That a person is trying to be a gatekeeper. Trying to be a teacher. No. Tell everybody that this channel is about. about we're all students of the game. We're all here to learn. I don't know everything. But I want. I, 
I want to know something about everything. That that's that that's what I want. I want to know something about everything. And I know I won't get that from NASA. I won't get that from the government. I won't get that from gatekeepers. Gatekeepers are the ones who want to control the, the, the stories. They want to control the environment. They want to control everything through them. I'm not going to learn anything from those kind of people. I learn with people like yourselves or who are also students who are all here to share. We are the panel. Get that straight. You guys in the chat who's watching this, we are the actual real panel. Not the government panel. Not the NASA panel. We are. And if you have a disagreement with somebody in the chat, that's great. We need disagreements in a nice way. Because we need to say, yeah, but this is what I learned from here. That's what, that's what we're all here about. We're all here about sharing. Sharing information. We are the panel. We are all the panel. Where am I going? I'm actually uh, uh, got to go back to my son's college. And I'm going to put up some paranormal highway flyers and all that. I got to do some things down there. I'm trying to recruit people to to come to a channel that are open. It's a, that's an open-minded channel. Well, I want young people to know that you can come here because we're all open-minded. We're all students. We're all here to learn the game. Not really learn the game. Learn the true events of game stories, events, whatever you want to know. We're just here to learn. We just want to learn. It's so beyond that. If you're not subscribed to the channel, you got to ask yourself, why not? Subscribe now. You guys got to help me out. Share this channel out. Share it out. Tell people about it. Tell people we are all students of the game. We're all students. We all want to learn. I love doing these dead alien shows. And uh, I appreciate you guys. Please leave a comment. Nobody likes Danny Stanton. Thank you for always leaving me a comment. Please leave me a comment. Let me know you enjoy this. All right. You guys, and guys, have a great freaking day. I'll be back. Now, hold on. I'll be back tomorrow with Ron from Cosmic Neighbors, Dr. Wu. And we're going to ask the most ultimate question that everybody wants to know on this planet Earth. Everybody wants to know. Is Taylor Swift a clone? I know you guys want to know if Taylor Swift is a clone. Come back tomorrow. We might have answers. I don't know. But is Taylor Swift a clone? We're going to look into it. I'll see you guys next time on the Paranormal Highway. In our obsession with antagonisms of the moment, we often forget how much unites all the members of humanity. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat to make us recognize this common bound. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world. And yet, I ask you, is not an alien force already among us? What could be more alien to the universal aspirations of our peoples than war and the threat of war?